That's a wrap. Okay. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, great. Oh, the way you killed it in the end. That's how you do it, Professor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jim Saya, Assistant Professor, Borough of Manhattan Community College, Department of Media, Arts, and Technology. Been here uh, full time since 2015, but part time uh, since 2010. And before that, uh, interesting factoid you might want to know uh, I used to work here um, in, from 1969 through 1974. I, I teach uh, primarily two multi-camera studio production classes, intro level VAT 161 and the uh, intermediate level uh, VAT 261. I um, expose students to and hopefully teach them uh, the procedures, protocols and technology involved in uh, multi-camera studio production, which can be applied to many different things, from news shows to talk shows to dramas to event production to music. To I stumbled into it as a career in school. Uh, I had no, I didn't even know it existed, um, and I just went. I took a course, and I thought, oh, this is fun. The thing was, I was a journalism major um, at NYU. And uh, I, as part of the curriculum, I had to take a uh, television journalism class. And I, so I did, and I instantly fell in love with multi-camera television production. A good question. I, I, I think that um, you, there's certainly been a trend over the last decade especially, but it started before then, uh, for in, uh, increased uh, graphics. That is a, a definite. The use of graphics, the sophistication of graphics, the general uh, insertion of graphics into virtually everything is, is and I think will continue to be a trend uh, in production. For the course, for VAT 161 and, one six, and 261, yeah, yeah sure. Uh, number one, writing, okay, so the, the script writing class is, is a foundational class. Uh, I think it, the students who, who do well in that class will almost always do well in the uh, 161, 261 classes. As a professor or as a professional, uh, I am committed to doing the best job that I can. Do you love what you were doing? Yeah, of course. I, I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Uh, you know, that's that goes. I, it shouldn't go without saying. Uh, the answer is absolutely. Yeah, it's the same advice I give them on day one: show up on time, be prepared, be willing to do the work that needs to be done for the success of the production. So it's, that's what you have to do, okay? And then you develop a, a uh, you, you will quickly develop a reputation as a reliable, uh, a competent member of the team. And then once you get that, then you can go forward and, um, 
and uh, carve out your own particular niche in the uh, production world. But you know this much, and um, but you, but what you hopefully have is an basic understanding and a desire to enter the field and and uh, a willingness to do what it takes so if you maintain those that desire and that willingness to do what it needs to be done then people will recognize that instant not instantly they will <laughs> recognize that and um, and give you opportunities to further your career but it's really not about you, it's about the show. Okay. You're only as good as your last show. That was told to me very early on by Ray Hostin, stage manager. Worked with Ray, first I met him at WPIX, and then years later I met him on another show. We worked together for, wow, I don't know. <laughs> 12 years, 15 years, I don't know. Um, I was AD, he was a stage manager. We were like just, you know, the team. But with first, he, he was uh, somewhat older than I and more experienced. And when I was uh, thinking about going out on that freelance uh, route for my career, uh, he told me that. It's like, you know, because I asked him about the pressure. And he said, you're as good as your last show. So in other words... You gotta do. You gotta bring it every day.